The big giant U.S. retailer Walmart is leading the push for businesses to reinvent themselves. By the end of 2020, Walmart wants to nearly quadruple its global production of renewable energy. Daniel Wrenches has more. The world's largest retailer has set a goal of eventually being supplied by 100% renewable energy. Already, solar panels like these on top of its stores produce 2.2 billion kilowatt hours each year, the equivalent of powering 180,000 U.S. households. The World Wildlife Fund says the plummeting cost of solar panels is helping the push. We're, we're in the middle of a revolution, and sometimes it's hard to see what's actually happening around you in the middle of something. Uh, whether it's homeowners putting solar on rooftops, whether it's communities investing in solar at utility scale or in community solar gardens, or whether it's corporations putting solar on their rooftops. Uh, we are at the crest of a wave. Walmart is aiming for solar generation of 7 billion kilowatt hours by 2020 the equivalent of powering 570,000 U.S. homes. To reach its goals, Walmart must also consider buying renewable energy from other suppliers. However, some local utility companies have been resistant to integrating solar, fearing it will threaten their profits. But with help from the World Wildlife Fund, Walmart and 34 other major corporations are negotiating with these traditional grid suppliers to embrace solar. It seems adversarial, really, but as we plan for the utility of the future, and we have these utility of the future discussions with utilities quite frequently, you know, we're getting comfortable where solar can fit into that long-range plan. They're getting comfortable with how their system can manage solar and incorporate it into their long-range plans as well. Other major corporations here have also been busy making major solar investments, including Apple, Target, and General Motors. In the first quarter of 2015, companies bought renewable energy at a scale that we haven't seen before. About 25% of the big deals where someone's either buying a wind farm or a solar farm have been bought by corporations. Last year, for the entire year, that number was 10%. So if you look at the curve, it's growing very, very rapidly. Now these companies are hoping that by working together, they can convince these traditional utility companies to embrace and integrate solar power into their business models. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.